Hello, Lisa. I think it's that time again. I do too. Happy Wine Wednesday. Happy Wine Wednesday, girlfriend. <laughs> it's been too long. Mm-hmm. Yes, it has been. I can't wait till we can start doing these person to person. In person. I know. I'm so excited. You know, in person drinking. Oh, <laughs> And this week is so special because people can now see Renaissance Theater Works Neat by Charlene Woodard, directed by Susan Fate, Mm -hmm. starring Marty Goebel, and they can see it in their own home. And it's so beautiful as I get to talk to our brilliant artistic director, Susan Fate, all the time, but I'm so excited to share why you're so passionate about NEAT. I'm really passionate about NEAT. And one of the special things about NEAT is that we produced it with Marty as the actor, with you as the director 11 years ago, which is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And it's one of the few, I think, that we've remounted. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really special. So tell me, Tell me more about why you think meat's so special and why it was important to remount now. Um, I would love to, because I love this show so much and it means so much to me. We've had such a history with it. As you were saying, we first produced it in, what does that make it? 2011? 2012. And then we took it to South Africa in 2013. It was wonderful to work on it at the time. I've never... At that time, I had never done any one person show where the character embodied so many different people. And uh, how many is it? 24? uh, Marty says it's actually 34 speaking people. And there might be more than that. They just keep coming. And she does them all so beautifully. She really does. Um, We, for, this production and why this was such a good choice for right now, as we all know now, you know, how the COVID-19 pandemic uh, forced all of us to rethink our seasons. And I'm glad we did. Uh, I'm not glad that we had to, but I'm glad that we did. And when we first realized last fall that this was going to be going on for a while longer and we need to rethink everything we had planned. Um, I thought of Neat right away because it's also a show that has so much heart and it's so much about family and love and the gifts that we give to each other that sometimes you don't even realize it's a gift until later on. And I thought that's what we need right now. We need, um, joy and family and hope for the future and need is all of those things. And I called Marty um, when I was first thinking about it and I called her and uh, we're having that conversation. I said, and listen, um, I'd like to remount neat. And she said, yes, well, wait, when? And I, and she said, no, it doesn't matter. Cause I'll cancel everything else. <laughs> So yeah, so that was awesome. And, and we both said the same thing. Um, she said, yes, it'd be so much fun because I'm better now. And I said, I am too. Because we have 10 more years of experience in doing what we do and, and understanding. I understand some of the older characters a lot better than I did 11 years ago. And that's been an interesting journey. It's really been a joy. Um, and it was so much fun and more than that that I can't even think of a good word for the feeling of being in rehearsal yeah this is the first show since last March that we've I mean it was a whole process to get there but we got to rehearse in person very safely yes with a safety plan and a COVID officer making sure everyone right well yeah. and tested and the air ventilation is just right, right. Um, right. all this stuff and, and yeah. everyone was masked but mm-hmm. I mean just just I'm a little jealous because I was at home yeah. but I to, know I wish I could have had everybody there like the old days but to be in the in the hall together first and 
to be rehearsing in our new artistic home. I mean, yes. there's so many special things about so, this show. And just being, it's, you know, I mean, everyone knows how it feels to be banging your head on a new problem throughout this year and, and trying to solve things that you couldn't spell before 2020. And, and didn't want to, really. And didn't want to, right? Could have lived my whole life without learning that. But reverse be, ionization. Oh my God, I know. I know so <laughs> much more about the HVAC sy systems everywhere I go. But to be in a room and feel like, I know how to do this, you know, is like, it's such a relief, even when things are hard and you're trying to solve problems and figure out how to do things. Um, it's still a skill set that you have, which was a lovely relief for the, um, you know, for the few days that we were able to do it. And we had been doing virtual uh, rehearsals too. So, which were also fun, you know, um, so yeah, that was wonderful. Well, when I think of NEAT, I just think, because it's, you know, I mean, for so many reasons that add up to a big reason, you know, it's such a quintessential Renaissance show. It's the kind of show I want to show people to say, this is what we do. Mm -hmm. You know, it, Me it's, too. it's heartfelt, heartwarming, personal, you know, it's, it's a woman telling the story of a woman's journey, mm -hmm. but it's so inclusive and so welcoming and universal in so many ways. Um, I just think it's beautiful. And Marty is so talented and mm -hmm. your direction is so skillful. Oh, and, thank you. and I know um, part of what was a little different than our last production is we had a little more help with the boot dance. We did. We did. Um, our, fantabulous board member, Jane Pink, who is such an amazing artist in her own right. And she helped us with movement and she was the movement director and it just helps the story so much. And it's a skill I do not have in any way. And she would come in and do these simple things that made everything come to life. And uh, we could not have done it without her. And that's the truth. I love our friends. I love my friends. I love our fellow artists and the people that came and made themselves available to us and, and helped us and helped me in particular learn what I needed to know in order to be able to um, bring theater to film, you know? Um, yeah. Tell me, tell me more about that. Wow. Well, um, <laughs> I knew nothing, so that's where I started. And, and fortunately, I'm old enough where I don't try to pretend anymore, which is a relief to all I, concerned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know yeah. that. Oh, yeah, I know that. Yeah, you know, we'll fix that on post, you know, and little, I know, I know. Um, so thank God, you know, because I, I at our first production meeting, the fantastic Lisa Schlenker, who I uh, did the set for neat and designed um, the backdrop that was inspired by the outsider writers, Minnie Evans. And um, that's a whole other story that we can talk about in another Wine Wednesday. She said, okay, do you have an editor in mind? Do you, how, how are you going to do this? And, you know, um, who's your lighting designer? And we had already asked Noel Stomach, who's amazing and, and one of my absolute favorite people. And she said, because this is going to look really different and we need to make sure you have these things that different I did. on film, right? It's yeah. Completely different on film. The camera changes the way everything looks. Um, I really want to say it like Moira Rose, the camera. Oh, I the, like that. The camera, the camera sees things differently. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, it is for real. Let me tell you. And because I didn't know but I have friends that were willing to help me and I appreciate it so much that um, Noel said, okay, you need a monitor. Here are the things we need to get from Studio Gear who, was, who were helping us record. And they had already said all of those things, but I didn't know what I'd need a monitor for, you know? <laughs> so I was like, oh yeah, of course I need a monitor. Oh, yeah. um, and then once we got to tech 
it became so apparent why I needed the monitor because it looked completely different on the monitor. Oh, and also Noel said to me, look, if I was doing this, anyone who knows Noel will think this is funny. If I was doing this show, I would have a million light cues, but I think we can let the camera do a lot of that work for us. What do you think? And I said, I don't, I have no thinking about this at all, but I really trust you. So I think if you think it's a good idea, then let's do that. The and camera will work. Yes. Let's see how we figure this out. And she was so gracious and kind to me and showed me, I don't know why this is true, but it's totally true. Like I was looking at a monitor that was showing me what the camera was seeing and and it was fine after I got used to it, but the first few minutes of tech, actually probably the first hour, Noel kept holler. I was in the back row with the monitor and Noel had another monitor upstairs that she was working on. So for the first hour, she would holler from uh, the booth saying, Susan, look at the monitor, not the stage. <laughs> Cause I keep forgetting, you know? Yeah. But, well, um, and everyone's six feet apart and through a right. mask. Oh my God. And, so it's and like, I was way far. Oh, but, oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So once I realized what it could look like on camera, it was so beautiful. And, and I had the opportunity to say, yes, let's, I really want to see her face in this part. And I could go drunk with power, you know, it was like, it, it was closer on the face. Wild. Closer. Yeah. Closer on the um, face. <laughs> and that, yeah. So it wound up being really what could have been a very arduous and difficult tech was made lovely and fun and easy by uh, the wonderful professionals and friends that we hired. So that was great. And the studio gear was wonderful and they were really helpful. Um, I would ask that, and I just said straight out at the beginning, like, I'm going to ask a bunch of dumb questions because I, you know, and I don't know. And I, so I'm just asking everyone to bear with me. And people were very kind about that. And, and there were occasions where I, I wanted to see if something was possible and they had to tell me, no, that's not possible. But a lot of times we were able to figure out how to, you know, lift something off the stage. So it was very fun. I, I miss the more traditional way, but this was very fun. And I'm so happy now we have it. Yeah. Yeah. Which so is exciting. so Yeah. Cool. And Marty lives in California now. So she mm -hmm. flew in to do it and she's gone yeah. away again, but yes, but she'll be back. But the audience can watch it yes. through April 11. And you know, it's, it's wild. It's just a whole new experience and to be able to watch it and know this is what everyone will be seeing is just very cool. So, yeah, it didn't have, I, I know you were saying this before, it didn't have the exciting, like now you can show your friends and you get to see their reaction and you feel the energy of yeah. the crowd um, yeah. feeling, which is so integral to what theater is. Yeah. But it's funny that, you know, there were silver linings around that, yes. that cloud. Right. Right. There are definitely pluses and minuses and, you know, my heart is in the theater. So I, I miss that. We didn't lose you to filmmaker. Moment, but that beautiful moment that was never there before, you know, but there were so many of them in our final filming that it, it's, and this is going to sound, I don't mean, I, I'm truly not bragging about myself. I, because more than anything I've ever done, this was such a group effort. And you know, I don't say this, but it's perfect. Oh. It's perfect. I mean, it's as perfect as we could have made it. And Marty's just amazing. And neat. I love neat. I love her so much. The first time Marty did, you know, spoke in her voice, I was like, oh, she's here. You know, because I, I it, it was like, and I've said this to you before, it's, it was like being in a room with old friends, you know, it really was. And, you know, it's like, oh yeah, I wonder what grandma's doing. And I dying to hear about Goldie and yeah. And baby was really thing. great grandma. Yeah. Friends at home, let us know what you think.
We miss oh, please. You. Yes, please. I, I can't wait. And I don't get to see you. So please text me, email me, <laughs> carrier pigeon. Yes. All right. See you next Wine Wednesday. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.